said, I mean, he said, this is my month, my month of divine prosperity. You know, when you talk about prosperity, so many people are think, or so many people are thinking that is a, a finances alone. Yes, finances are very important. Spiritually and physical, very important. You need it. Say, I need it. Say, I need it. Say, this month, I will place a demand from my father. I will place a demand from God of Abraham, from God of Isaac, from God of Jacob, and from God of Issachar. To live, I place a demand to live in abundance. So I place a demand to live in abundance. And surely I will live in abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. So this month and this day, the third day of the sixth month, of the year 2024. So this month, so this day, this month, the third day of the sixth month of the year 2024, I Bless a demand on the Holy Trinity. I bless a demand on the Holy Trinity. This day and this month, the third day of the sixth month of the year 2024, I place a demand on the Holy Trinity. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Issachar. I place a demand to live in abundance. I place a demand to live in abundance. Again, right. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. Three times. Please make sure you write it down. Make sure you write it down in the language you understand best. You don't necessarily have to write it in English. You can write it in Jamaican language, in, in Patua. You can write it in Zulu. You can write it in Shangan. You can write it in French. You can write it in German. You can write it in my language. You can write it in any language. Hallelujah. Have you written it? Who has finished writing? Okay. If you know you finished writing, can you read for us what you write? Yes? Shalom, babe. Shalom. Uh, okay, so it's the 3rd of June, 2024. This month and this day. No, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Can you hear me? No, 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 I'm hearing you, but read it, read it from, don't say it's the 10th of June. No, I don't want to know whether it's the 10th of June. I said, write what I've just dictated for you. Read what I've just dictated. This month and this day, the third day of the sixth month of the year 2024, I place a demand on the Holy Trinity, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac. I place a demand to live in abundance. 
I place a demand to live in abundance. I place a demand to live in abundance. No. No. I demand, remove place. I demand to live in abundance. The first one is I place a demand. The third one that you have to write three times is I demand. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. You don't place a demand anymore. You are the one because you are now, the Christ in you has assumed his rightful place in your life to demand that. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ, is, you have placed a demand. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ has moved inside of you. He has assumed you now to declare what yourself want to do, to be, and to have in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I added another one. Huh? I added the last I placed to. Uh, I, I, what I, did you add? What did you add? Read what you add. I added. Uh, you said we should write. Three times, I demand to live in abundance. So I added, uh, now I have three. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. And I demand to live in abundance. Okay. This is what you have to do throughout this month. Throughout this month, you have to do it. Everyone have to do it. Okay. You type it nice. Write it in a very bold and big handwriting. Okay. So, that's it. Then I wanted to look at the Bible because most of the things, okay, read it again, read it again, read it again. There's something I, 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 want, I want to let you know. Read it again. This month and this day, the third day of the sixth month of the year 2024, I place a demand on the Holy Trinity, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Isaac. I place a demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to live in abundance. Okay. Also, say this day. This day. That you have to repeat every day. This day, I must do that. No, no, no. Don't, don't put it that way. Say this day, I place a demand to do. I place a demand to do to be and to have. To enjoy plenty. I place a demand. That's I demand. I place a demand. I place a demand. I place a demand. You don't have to say I place a demand. No. I demand. I demand. I demand. I demand. To be, to do, and to have. And also to enjoy in plenty. Enjoy in plenty. Because when it, a demand means if you don't live in abundance and enjoy plenty, what are you living for? You have to enjoy good health in fullness. You have to enjoy well in its fullness. You have to enjoy in its fullness. Praise the Lord. Very important. You have to enjoy in its fullness. Not just enjoy today and cry tomorrow. That's what most people are going through. Never again. I lock it up in the name of Jesus Christ. I lock it up. I lock it up. I demand to live in abundance. I demand to do, to be, to have and to enjoy abundance in its fullness. In its fullness, this month, no matter whoever, the dead cannot stop you, the living cannot stop you, the angel cannot stop you because you have placed the demand on the Holy Trinity and so shall it be in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear everyone say amen to that? So shall it be in your life. So shall it be in your life. Now, if you look at the book of Psalm 92, let us look at 
12. From verse number 12. Psalm 92 from verse number 12. Everyone, open your Bible. Psalm 92. Are you there? If you are there, say thank you, Jesus Christ. Psalm 92, in verse number 12, he said, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Verse number 13. Those that, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Verse 14. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourish. You see that? Huh? So it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter how old you are. It does not matter. Age has nothing to do with this. Abraham was 75 when he was called to leave his father's house in Hood. Then he went out obeying the word of God. He went. And then he had plenty. He lived in abundance. He had all and enjoyed all to his old age. Praise the Lord. Because he trusts in this God. He walked in faith. He walked in faith. That's what the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 said. Without faith, no one can please him. Because it's only faith that pleases him. And how does that faith come? It comes by hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. The word that we hear today. In the name of Jesus Christ. So whatever you want to do, to be and to have, and to live in abundance, is already within you. Is already within you. Write it down. Whatever I want to do to have and to be and to enjoy in abundance is already within me. Write it down. Whatever I want to do to be to have and to enjoy abundance is already within me. So you are not believing, confirming that you have already have it. You believe and you confirm that you have it. And no one can say no. Because when there is a ready, when there's a willing heart, there's a ready God. Where there is a, a, a willing heart, there's a ready God. That's why I say, according to your will. He said, if two or three can come together and put anything, ask the Father anything in my name, I will do. So within you, yourself, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit that is within you, the trinity of you, the trinity of you, the trinity within you, agree within you that you do, that you will be, that you will have, that you will enjoy all that you demand, you will surely have it. You will surely have it. Praise the Lord. But that willingness has to come from the inside. That readiness must come from the inside. That preparedness has to come from the inside, not from the outside, not external. Remember, the flesh is always against the spirit. They are always in constant battle with the spirit. Because it's only in the spirit man can know God. No man know God in flesh. No man know God in flesh. So that is why whenever you want to place a demand, you must be in agreement, you must be in unity to place that demand. And this month, I place, I impose, I mean, I superimpose my faith on your faith to place a demand. And the moment you place that demand to be healed, you'll be healed. To be rich, you'll be rich. To be wealthy, you'll be wealthy. To be living in abundance, you'll live in abundance. To enjoy you enjoy. To have victory, you have victory. To have promotion, you have promotion. To receive, you receive. Everything you bless shall be yours. In the name of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a remember to that? Hallelujah. So look at that Bible again. Psalm 92. Are you there? Psalm 92. Look at it again.
the righteous, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Flourish. What is flourish? Flourish. The literal translation of flourish means living in abundance, having more than enough, living plenty. And the Bible makes us understand in the book of Psalm one, it said, "Blessed is the man." Blessed is the man that do what? Blessed is the man that what? Eh? That is not planted by the rivers of water. Blessed is the man that is planted by the rivers of water. Or blessed is the man that is planted by the rivers of water. Because whatever he do, he will prosper. He will never live in dryness. He will never start without water because he has water alone. People of God, listen. No matter how you go to an ocean with a spoon to take water, can the ocean tell you, please stop taking from me? No matter how many times you go, no matter how many times you take a jerry can, you run to the ocean, you fetch water, would ocean complain? Hello, people of God, would the ocean ever complain? Would he say, no, you have taken too much water from me? Eh? River can complain, but ocean never complain. River can complain. A river can get dry, but an ocean remains. So you are that one. You are that one. Your link comes from the river, from the ocean. There are river where you are flowing. You flow. You flow. It comes from the ocean. Your link does not come from any source else. It does not come from any dry land. It comes from the Almighty God. He who is the ocean. Is the ocean. You are planted in the ocean. You are planted by that river that flows through the ocean. That meander around, meander around, meander around. That's where you are planted. So there are no way you can dry. Because your source is so big to get dry. Your source is so light to get dry. So why is it that God said that you wish above all things that you live in plenty? You prosper and in health, even as a soul prosper. Because himself is enjoying prosperity. So he wanted to enjoy what is what he enjoyed. So when you find yourself not enjoying, you place a demand. You place a demand, and you begin to see the reality of what you're asking the Father. That is why I said to you, every morning, get your key, open the doors. Lock up all those things you do not want to see. Lock them up, throw them away. Praise the Lord. The good things began to come. Abundance began to come. Great things began to come. Hallelujah. By the time you bless it, more especially in this month of prosperity, you begin to see great things taking place in your life. You begin to see great things. Things were just falling in place on its own volition. Things were just falling in place on their own accord. Because already you have placed a demand, an infinite demand to unlimited God. So it means your supply will be, lim will be limitless. Can I hear you say my supply will be limitless? Hallelujah. My supply will be limitless. Look at Matthew chapter 6. Say Matthew chapter 6. Chapter 6. Write it down. I hope you write Psalm, 94, Psalm 92. Verse number 12 down to 14. I believe you write it down. Please, if you never write it, write it now. And look at Matthew chapter 6. Remember what Matthew chapter 6 verse 6 said? He said, when you pray, close your door, so that your heavenly Father that sees in secret will reward you and open. When you pray, close your door. Now look at verse number 33 of Matthew chapter 6. Verse number 33 of Matthew chapter 6. Verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What do you mean, seek God? You seek him. He says, Seek him where he might be found. Seek him where he might be found. Not just seek him where he might be found. That's why I said, Knock, I will open unto you. Ask, I will give unto you. Seek, and you'll find. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Just go ahead and appreciate him at the middle of this message. Go ahead and appreciate him. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Remember, we have taken too long. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Give him praise. Begin to appreciate him. Be in the attitude of gratitude. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give him thanks. Give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks. Give him thanks. He's a great God. Give him thanks. He's a wonderful Jehovah. Thank him. Thank him because today you place a demand and you have the result. Today you place a demand and you have results in the name of Jesus Christ. John, go ahead and say, I place a demand and have the result. Go ahead. Ntando, go ahead. Say that. Matthew, go ahead and say that. Yes, yes, Monica, go ahead. Moshabi, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say that. Lungi, go ahead. Say, I place a demand, I get a result. Say, I place a demand. Wherever you are, Wendy, go ahead and say that. Grace, go ahead, go ahead, Sarah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I place a demand, I get a result. I place a demand, I get a result. I place a demand. I demand my passport. I demand for my visa. I demand my passport. I demand millions into my bank account. I demand healing right now and right here. I demand success. I demand a car, and I want it right now. I demand a house. I want it right now. I demand freedom. I want it right now. I demand this. I want it now, and it is done right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I demand it right now and right here, and it is mine. I enjoy it in abundance. I have all that I need. I have all that I need. I enjoy all that I need in the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Look at it again. That message that I said, verse 33. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, all these things. Whatever you need to do to be and enjoy, it's already yours. All things are yours. All things are yours. But you don't do that with a doubt. You never, write that down, never place a demand with a doubting mind. Write it down. Never place a demand with a doubting mind, doubting spirit. Because he that doubts is like a wave that the wind dictates his movement. Never place a demand in a doubting mind. When your mind is not complete, when you feel you are not incomplete, don't place any demand. Don't place any demand. Praise the Lord. Never you place any demand. Because from this day, a different you will be appearing. And don't get scared when you see yourself multiplying to 10, 10, 20, 50 places. Don't get surprised because things will be happening so dangerous that yourself, you say, no, who am I? You begin to ask yourself question, who am I? Praise the Lord. The kind of intelligence, the kind of things will happen, what will be happening in your life, you'll be shocked. Praise the Lord. You'll be shocked because of what will come out from your mouth from this day. You can never live in poverty anymore. Say, I reject poverty. Say, my generation reject poverty. Say, my generation reject poverty. I reject poverty completely. And my generation reject poverty. I reject poverty on behalf of my generation. Go ahead and say that. I nullify poverty in the, my lineage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I hold on to the Holy Trinity from this day. I hold on to the Holy Trinity. And my generation will hold on to the Holy Trinity. They will never turn back. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel will be above them, be beneath them, be before them, be behind them, be on their left and their right. That's my generation. They'll be fully secured. They will enjoy because, listen, the Bible said that the blessing, the gift and blessings of God make it rich and added no sorrow. So if you are rich and you have sorrow, it means that something, something is wrong somewhere. You need to check yourself. Check the source of your wealth. Check the source of your, the source of your prosperity. Check yourself again and check again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Praise the Lord. Huh? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of ungodly, nor standing world sinners, nor seated in the seat of scoffers, nor standing world sinners. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man planted by rivers of water. Whatever he do, he prosper. I am that man that is planted. And then you say that I am the man planted in that river whose source is an ocean that never get dry. That is me. In the name of Jesus Christ. No matter how many trucks you go to, you carry to the ocean to go and fetch water, ocean will never complain. So you will live in abundance. Say, I will live in abundance. Say, I will live in plenty. Say, I will enjoy plenty in the name of Jesus Christ. Just let us look at the Bible. In St. Luke Gospel, chapter number 15, I'm talking about plenty because this is a month of prosperity. St. Luke Gospel, chapter number Chapter number 15, look at verse number 22. Are you there? Look at verse number 22. What does he say? But the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his head, on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Hallelujah. You know who is this? Do you remember this young man? The prodigal son. The prodigal son. Before you were poor, because you do not know who your father is. Because you were living in want, because you do not know who your father is. You walked out of the, what you have. You walked out of abundance, but today you return in abundance. Say, today I have returned in abundance. Say, I have reclaimed what is mine. I want everyone to write it down. Say, I have reclaimed this day what is mine. Write it down. I have reclaimed this day what is mine. I have reclaimed this day what is mine. Praise the Lord. People of God, this is an eye opener to every one of us. Imagine a child that demanded everything from the father, he walked away. And then when he came back, the father said, decorate him. So today, I'm dem I demand the father, I demand the Holy Trinity to, to decorate your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a meme to that? Can I get a winning meme to that? Go ahead, appreciate him for, for decorating you again. Go ahead, appreciate him. Go ahead, appreciate him for decorating your life. Everyone appreciate him. Go ahead, appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Go ahead, 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 go ahead. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. People of God, if you look at our prayer point of yesterday, and our confession of faith, you will notice something. You will notice something, especially in the confession of faith. Number one of the confession of faith began with Psalm 35. Can you open your Bible and look at that Psalm 35? Open your Bible and look at Psalm 35. Psalm 30, 35, in verse number, are you there? In verse number 27, he said, let them shout for joy and be glad that favors my righteous cause. Yeah, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant means the Lord is very happy, very happy. The Father is always very happy when you are living in plenty or when you live in plenty. The Father is always very happy when you live in plenty. No one will want his child to suffer. No father will, like, will want his child to live in lack or in want, no. 
every father wants the child to live in plenty, to have plenty, to do plenty, and to enjoy plenty. And that is why I'm demanding today that the father release unto you. You see that? Verse number 27, verse number 27 of chapter 35 of the book of Psalm. He said, let them shout for joy and be glad that favored my righteous cause. Yeah, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. In the prosperity of his children, he had pleasure. That's why he said, I wish above all things, above all things that you prosper. I wish above all things that you prosper. And also be in health. And be health. Praise the Lord. 